A belief or theory in which controlling the money supply is the best way to stabilize the economy is known as monetarism. If you believe that the Federal Reserve should control the amount of money circulating throughout the economy, you're known as a monetarist. An example of expansionary monetary policy is when the Federal Reserve takes action to influence the economy by decreasing the federal rate. This will cause more money to circulate throughout the economy while interest rates decrease. Inflation will rise while unemployment decreases. Decreasing the federal rate promotes production, which will cause GDP to rise. Whenever the government does anything to improve inflation, it causes unemployment to get worse. Vice versa, when the government tries to help unemployment, inflation increases. This short-run trade-off is something that the government faces in every policy. Now, the inverse relationship between unemployment and inflation can be seen through a graph known as the Phillips Curve. A controlled and constant increase of the money supply will keep inflation low while expanding economic activity and employment. The ultimate difference between monetary policy and fiscal policy is the way in which the two influence the economy. Monetary policy physically takes money in and out of the economy by buying or selling bonds, while fiscal policy changes spending levels and tax rates, so they don't physically take money out of the economy, nor do they take money put money into the economy. Monetary policy can quickly be implemented and change can be seen within days, while fiscal policy uh, has a lag time and it takes about a month to see any change in which it'll be already too late.